Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. It's about probably about half past six now. I am down the River Wye, which is behind those trees there, down the bank, out on a guiding day today with a chap called Matt. Matt's after doing some float fishing. We're going to do some float fishing. Hopefully, catch some chub and barbel. That's the plan. The river's gone down a bit since you last saw me down here. We've gone down about uh, 150, 200 mil. So it should be a lot more comfortable trotting today. I brought Matt down to my favourite trotting swim, which as I say is behind that tree there. We're going to flit about a bit. We might fish a few swims, try a, do a few different styles of trotting. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's a lovely day. It's nice and still, quite a misty morning, but uh, there's been some barbel rolling in the swim already. We've put some bait in. It's just some mixed pellets and some hemp, and we're going to fish some lunch and meat over the top of it. That's the plan. Right, without further ado, I think we'll get down there and have a crack. What we want to do, all I do with this meat as well, I've just got this cubed up. I mean, I literally just shove it in like that. I just push it in, yeah? They didn't push it out the end and turn it in. It will come off every time. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's baiting a swim, isn't it? I don't worry about it. And then what I'm going to do, you want to just drop your rod down a bit. <laughs> we want to get out somewhere there. And then it's just a case of keeping in touch with that. See, I'm not dragging under there at the moment. So I'll deepen off in a minute. See, that floats yeah. just trying to pull under. Yeah, yeah. And it'll get to those rocks in a minute and it'll pull under. Well, it's slightly deeper down there, I think. It's a bit shallower over okay. that end. Yeah, it just shallows up. And just those rocks, it'll just pull under. And then it's, after that, it just shallows off. But it's just a case of keeping bending the line. I would say I'm a bit shallow. When the float goes under like that, I tend to just hold it back. And it should pop up. If it doesn't, I'll give it a little pull. And, and then it'll come up. Anchored, isn't it? So it should essentially pop up. If you, so if you strike every time the float goes under, you, you'll never get it to run through. Yeah. <laughs> Putting his finger on the spool, just trying to line Yeah, I'm just, just every time I'm just mending that line. It's a bit of a tricky try in here, but you'll, you'll pick it up, I'm sure. But I'm just trying to keep in touch with that float all the time. Yeah. See, that's just, there's a rock around there somewhere, which it drops under sometimes. And then we'll dip under there. You just kind of got to fiddle it through the swim, really. God, that's brilliant with that mist coming off the river. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? You tend to get a lot of chub, don't you, and on the line? Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of chub in here. I'm going to cast a bit further than that, really, don't I? Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, I, when, when they're out and about, I mean, you'll have them under the rod tip here. I mean, they'll be that close in. That'd be really, really close. So, so that, that line still will come round a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just... That's it. That's just tripping bottom now, that is. That's nice. That floats just... That's just the bottom. Just the, yeah, the it's just where it's catching that's the, the olive just down. trundling along the bottom. Yeah, that's that's ideal, really. It'll probably pull under somewhere there. Yeah, just mend that line, mate. Because you've got a big bow oh, yeah, out. You've yeah, got a yeah. bow out again. I think when you mend it, then it's sort of... Yeah, you, you want to give it a... Yeah, give it a bit of a flick yeah, if you can. Or rather than stop it, just try yeah. to flip it aside, sort of, yeah? Sort of pick the line up and throw it out. Yeah. You'll probably start to trip under down there. Just hold that back now, it's gone under. Yeah. That's it, now you see it pop back up again. Yeah. As soon as you just check it. So it's just like it's a... back up like, and again... It's uh, like a deeper hole there, is it? Just, it might have just caught on a bit of rock or something. Yeah. Just, so just hold, just... hold that back now. Oh, there you go. Just pop back up again. It's not yeah. your standard trotting in here, really, but that's where the fish are. <laughs> what yeah, can you do? Quite, yeah, it's quite tricky, isn't it? Yeah. You'll, you'll pick it up where you have already, really. The line's a lot straighter there on this one, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah and it'll just start just, to yeah, just drag good. under there. Yeah, just, just, every time it trot, drops under, that's it. Just hold it back and it'll pop back up. And the time it doesn't, is you'll probably feel a fish on. But you'll, you'll feel emit it half the time. If you hold it back quite hard down there, literally just inch it through, 
you'll feel it just yeah, you'll pull the rod out of your hand yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, it that hard imagine yeah because even just the line pulling out it's quite amazing isn't it mm. yeah lovely morning beautiful that's yeah. it if you can run it down that line and but obviously the further over you go the harder it is to keep <laughs> keep tight to it keep that keep that rod up and keep that's it keep that bow line out of it if you can yeah, so, so, so what will mend the line out really. Yeah. The line's further ahead and not the float. That's through, right, it's it? dragging the float through, that's that's the thing. Pick, just pick your rod right up, that's it, get in touch, that's it. That's, that's more like it, it. That's, that's it, that's the fella. Now you're going to hit them rocks shortly, so it will go under, I would imagine. It's just a case that you're almost constantly just so mending that line. line all the time, yeah, you? that's right. Like now I've got to stop it quite a lot. That's yeah, <laughs> give, it, give it a flick as well, that, that's it, that's oh, it, yeah. perfect. That's, that's the way to do it, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, know, do you want to give it a go? Oh, let me have a... You probably... Okay. Just, just five minutes. You'll probably, you probably catch a few now, and I'll think, oh, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'll have a little go. You can watch what I'm doing as well, probably help you. Yeah, there's a, there's a rock there. So you know that? I'll just held that back. It's not come up. So give it a little pull. But I think I might... There we go. It's in the rocks, I think. Just tricky, just keeping behind that float as much as you can, really. That's it. And again, that feels like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jump. Just didn't come up again, but the tip yeah. just slowly pulled round, and I thought, hmm. Yeah, it, sort of, it does disappear in there. Trying to get behind them rocks, I think. <sighs> no, straight, straight for the tree, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, talking, they're like just talking to each other one stag, and you get them out of this way. Yeah, he's just heading straight for the tree. Look, come here. I bet he's very big. Blimey, hanging on all of a sudden. Cracking. Fab. Straight in the scissors. Is <laughs> Good start. Really empty though after spawning. Yeah. Fab. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> There's a big rock around about there. Oh, there you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rock. Yeah. Or is it a fish? Fish. Yeah, fish. Yay! First run through. Lovely job. <laughs> oh, you're oh, come off. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah it's, it's only literally you pull it snag and you just pull it to the side to like get the float back up and yeah, just pull it out. That's a good start. Yeah, that's green, isn't it? Chickpeas. Hmm. It's interesting, that is. Maybe you could try um, hooking one, hooking someone and find it right there. Yeah. Give it to the business. You're in, aren't you? Hooray! Probably a little tiny couple up. <laughs> we went down there last time, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's not an eel. Chubble it. Yeah, it's a little tiny couple up. <laughs> there she is. Nice one, mate. First proper fish of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just stood here going, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> it's just so different when you're holding the rod, yeah, you can tell. You're... Whereas I'm going, <laughs> yeah, because when, you, when you're holding it, you sort of like, oh, yeah. and then the, that's a fish. 
Yes. Yes. Excellent. Nice one, mate. It's right above that snag, it is. Yeah. Going to the right. Fantastic. Great stuff. Yeah. It was right on the snag. Yeah. <laughs> trying to use me as a snag. Yeah, he's trying to use me as a snag. Trying to get under my feet. That's a chub and a half. Yeah, that's a nice one. Well done, mate. Please, that. Proper one. Yay. <laughs> oh, lovely one. Cracker. Well done, mate. There you go. Nice one, mate. Lovely There's fish. one of those lice on him. Look. See his lice? They get on him. And that's why they scratch themselves. Look. Horrible little things. Nice one, mate. Off she goes. Fantastic. <laughs> First of many. First proper one of many. <laughs> yeah. You'll have a touch? <sighs> now you carry on, mate. But once again, like the other day, you're feeding in here, and you catch them down there. Yeah. They're not moving up on the feed. It's like they're not really that interested. Yeah, because it's hooking them quite a way down. Yeah. You'd like to think that three offerings you're chucking in aren't going that far down. No, I, I don't think they are. They could be ha getting held up on that gravel. Yeah, they'll, they'll be in here somewhere. Not not down there, but... It's almost like you... You sort of... You're catching them because you're putting a bait past them rather than... Yeah, rather than Attracting them. them in and getting them to feed. Every now and again you get a bit lucky when you mend the line, it just doesn't move the float. Yeah. It just like flicks off the surface. That's those rocks. That's exactly where you want to be really. Yeah. That's that's definitely in those in and amongst those rocks. You're in? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Right in those rocks. Yeah, it's right in the rock. So between the rocks yeah, and that's a bit of weed out there. <laughs> Brilliant. He's coming for you again. <laughs> That's amazing, knowing that you stand there and <laughs> just see um, your legs. Face and it's just... your face, like, the wrap around your, around your leg. Got him. Yes. Nice one, mate. Number two. That's what it's all about. That's what it's... Yeah, these are nice little chub as well, aren't they? Yeah, nice stump. They are some donkeys in it in this stretch as well. Yeah, oh, mate, let me hold it. I'll hold the net for you. Well, yeah, they're a better stamp here on this little bit. It's that little Lovely thing. condition as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's all, mate. Yeah, he's not being there you are. Wonderful. <laughs> Great stuff. Well done, mate. Get to grips with it now. It's definitely, I'm, I'm sure you just, you're presenting better. That's, oh. that's what it is. Let's put this back on. Yeah, because it's running through lovely now, isn't yeah. it? It's just before they were just, I think, looking at it and just like, nah. Yeah. So it ain't right with that. Whereas yeah. now, because you're controlling it a lot better. Yeah, it's like more natural. Yeah, that, now you're fooling them. But that was exactly, perfectly example of what happens in them rocks. Yeah. Goes down, goes down, goes down. You look, fiddle it through, fiddle it through, and then suddenly you're on. It's, yeah, half, <laughs> that's where they are, isn't it? They're between yeah. the rocks and that, um, between the rocks and whatever that bit, that little wee bed is. That's yeah. Where they are, aren't they? Stanging about in there. Do you uh, want to chat? You're doing the right thing. I'll have a little go for five minutes. I'll rest my shoulder. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> so guys, it's about half past ten. That's just having a break. I thought I'd have a little go. It's not been easy this morning at all. He's had a couple of nice chub now. One little one. Bumped one off as well. I've had that one earlier on. But yeah, it's, it's a bit of a strange day. Quite a cold night. The water seemed really cold when we got in this morning. It seems to have warmed up a bit. 
after that seems a bit weird <laughs> over the course of just a few hours. But uh, the fish are playing hardball, certainly. It's been tricky going this morning. Well, certainly Matt's presenting a lot better than he was this morning, presenting the bait, so that's, that's good. But this wind's, you can probably hear the wind's sprung up as well. And that's really not helping. We've got a downstream wind hacking through, making presentation quite tricky. And this swim we're having to fish out across there because the barb was sort of hanging about across that way. There's sort of fish over there, but the wind is just putting a massive bow in your line. You like a disused air build or something, they did like this um, track day. Oh, Long Marsden. Yeah. Probably Long it's Marsden, yeah. Yeah, it's an old airfield there. It's probably on there. Here we go. That's a fish. This is this is a fish. I think I think this is a barbel. This is the barbel. I think it is. It's right in those rocks. That's that was the right area, wasn't it? For it? Yeah. It's and it's not fit. I don't know. It's not. It's not beating me up though. It's just old in there. That's what makes me think. Yeah. Well, guys, I think we might be into the first barbel of the day. Just in and amongst those rocks. Of course, there's loads of canoes coming as well. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. I've got a big fish on, sorry. <laughs> you'll be all right if you go that side, you'll be all right. We'll give him a poke, push him this way. <laughs> Don't wind it. Exactly. I'm winding backwards. He's going out under your boat. <laughs> He's down there somewhere. <laughs> it is a barbell. I can see him. He ain't ready yet though. He'll disappear a few times before we get him in, I'd imagine. There we go. <laughs> Just like charge up a burst of power yeah. and just go in, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We ain't got him in yet. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> that lunch sorted, is it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come in. Oh, now my arm's telling me. <laughs> Definitely had her, though, didn't they? Nice one, mate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's given up. I think, is he? Just about. Yeah, got him. Good. Nice one, mate. You Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Oh, behaving angler. Hello. Good day, sir. Say hello. You on <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> See what I mean in those rocks that it's like? Yeah. Is it fit? It's oh yeah. Bump, yeah so, along. And then, but if they don't move, it's yeah. just like the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And it's like thump. Oh, hang on. Is it a thump thump? Oh yes, it's a fish. Well, guys, first one of many, hopefully. <laughs> He's very lively. We'll have a quick look at him, hopefully. There we go. That's about that. Fantastic. <laughs> Make it that funny squeaking noise, not they do. Beautiful. Lovely job, right, mate? Your turn now. Happy days. Cracking. Right, we'll give him another rest and we'll get him back. So, guys, as we often find, as soon as the canoes start, it moves the fish. The canoes started about 20 minutes ago. We had the odd one go through earlier, but 
about 20 minutes ago they started going through regularly and then all of a sudden catch a barbel no coincidence it happens quite often they i think they just get the fish moving they disturb them and there you go well this fella's had a good rest so we'll uh, get him on his way fab you tell straight away couldn't you as soon as um it's just the rod hoops open you feel a thumb and it's like i've got the bottom but let the but thumb like you in yeah, yeah baits probably come off yeah it's just it's just getting that feel for yeah mending the line and no, you, you're, doing, you're not doing anything wrong at all. You're doing a cracking job. Sort of keep going out, aren't you? I suppose. Just yeah. Keep going. It's just, well, like you say, like we know they're there. It's just a case of sooner or later, one will grab it like that. Because the boot's just drifting past, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas when you're ledgering, obviously, you're just anchoring it to one spot, essentially, aren't mm. you? Yeah, you're relying on them. Unless you're like link ledger or something, you're relying on them coming to you. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, when you're trotting, you take the bait to them. He, 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 he has the same. Oh, I don't want to put nets over it. So I want to see them. Yeah. He just, he just. Well, I can't just keep moving the fish. So he, um. Fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Fish. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. Yeah, it's a fish. Cracking stuff. He's doing really well in these conditions, fair play, mate. <laughs> Not the intended species, but... No. Fish, nonetheless. It's good in my looks of it. They're all welcome. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Got him. Well done, mate. Yeah, having to work for them today, but... But none of them nice on them this time. No, yeah, it's nice, nice condition. Gone. Gone between your legs, isn't it? Gone up there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hurrah. Thank you. Come on, fish. I wonder, I just wonder if it's that sun coming out. It might have been massive coincidence, but, uh... The sun comes out and you get a bite. <laughs> yeah. That weren't small. Yeah, I thought it was like salmon dressing. I would think so. It's got to be, in it? All right. There we go. I just felt it, yeah, I just felt it pull round. I thought it was just a float fluttering in the current at first. And then it just... <laughs> and it went. I was like, oh, blimey, okay. Blimey, this is pulling. God, it's really pulling. Is that Mr. Barbwood, reckon? I don't think so. It's not pulling that hard. No. <laughs> no, but it's out in that flow. It's give me a bit of a workout. Out in the middle, didn't he? Yeah, Somewhere. it's just in that flow. But no, it's it's. The, 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 the bar with the end of the rod beating away a bit, isn't it? <laughs> no, a couple of head shakes as well. Well, guys, it's not been easy today. Just having another go and. I just took something down there and it feels quite weighty. It's making my arm ache, but I do think it's a chub. It feels like a good one. Yeah, he just kicked out of it. Oh, I'm getting wet elbows now. <laughs> this river is rising fast, guys. It's it's come up a lot since we got here and we're just keeping it on the level <laughs> against all the tripods. And it's, uh, it's coming up fast. There's about a foot of extra water coming through, looking at the gauge. Come on, Mr. Chubb. Blimey. It's hanging on a bit, isn't it? It is. God, yeah, it looks like a decent one. <laughs> that would explain it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, made my arm ache. Blimey. Oh, he's a nice one. Well, guys, <laughs> that would kind of explain why uh, he was pulling my string a bit. Cracking fish that is. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Made my arm ache. Right, we're getting back. 
So guys, we've been roving about. It's uh, proving to be quite hard going today and the water is up from uh, 0.6 this morning. When we arrived, it's now 0.9, so it's up a good foot. Making getting out here very tricky to do some trotting. It's our best bet for a bowl on the float. We're having to work our way in slowly and uh, this wind's hacking downstream as well, making it really tricky. So I think we're going to go on the feeder for a bit. We've been getting here down the um, get in the water like we were we're going to feed a fish out to see if we can tempt a bobble that way that's the plan at the moment yeah we missed a trick this morning I think it was um, it was lovely the conditions were really good weren't they to start with beautiful wasn't it you just wouldn't feed a thing as you can't catch them if they're not feeding can you so. yeah that's the trouble you can only you can only do so much can't you it's one of them things for sure. <laughs> You can only give yourself the best chance. Let's just do it now. You, you really fun. enjoyed it. All right. <laughs> apart from when, uh, <laughs> apart from when he caught one. I think that'll be a barbell, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, guys. It? Thump, thump, thump. Or is it a chub? Yeah, I definitely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cool, the way that wrapped over, I really yeah. thought that was a bobble then. They really pulled the rod in there. Yes, it is. Cheeky chub. <laughs> I can't see him, get off. <laughs> he is, he's kind of getting this treat. Way up. He's behind me. He is, I got him. That's a nice one. <laughs> now that's why he nearly pulled the rod in. <laughs> that's a cracking one, that is. Oh, blimey. Calm down. Lively. Well, guys, there we are. The barbel uh, <laughs> impersonation. God, the rod really went fantastic. Nice one, mate. It's a lovely fish again. It's another cracker, isn't it? Cost convinced that was a barbel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Really pulled the rod in. Next one. Next one's next, a barbel. Next one's a barbel. <laughs> I'm almost floating already. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a decent job. Well, guys, just having a little bit of a, a go at trotting again. The water is up to 0.9 <laughs> on the gauge, so it's up a foot on this morning. It doesn't seem to have perked up the fishing, though, as you'd think. Matt's been... Um, been ledgering feeder fishing he's just got snagged up so he's just tackling up so i just thought i'd have a little go in on the float again and this chub is determined to snag me up in this tree i just had a few runs through a very bizarre day today this water's come up and it hasn't colored up at all if anything it's got clearer but it's come up come up a foot it's very strange and it's fishing very strangely as well Oh, we're catching some nice fish. Oh, that's a proper one again. I'll be why uh, <laughs> be why he's pulling back. <laughs> Hopefully, I can pick him with one hand. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Absolute tank covered in weed. Let's uh, see if we can hold him up. <sighs> it's about that. <laughs> that's a that's a tank. Cracking, isn't it? What a fish. Right, let's get him unhooked and get him on his way. It's certainly high, this water. Higher than I've ever trotted in here. I can't get out nearly far enough as I want. But uh, didn't seem to bother, th bother this fella. Back he goes. Fab. Oi, oi. this I just quick snag. 
Moving it. Yeah, I reckon it's the chub just right in that snow again. Yeah, it's yeah. the chub on there. Yeah. You're knocking them out now, mate. Fair play. They're just hanging about, aren't they, down there? Seems a better fish. <laughs> He's trying to go back out into the middle now. They're only trying to use me as a stack. <laughs> Not like them to go out in the middle, though, is it? The bigger ones usually stick out there. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a lovely stamp. It's the stamp of them. It's, it's cracking fish yeah, again, isn't it? That fish. is. Nice one, mate. Yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? Their mouth's just like a dustbin, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that meat's just probably just falling through his mouth, isn't yeah. it? Jeez, that's yeah, a lovely fish. Again, quite empty. Yeah. Fill up in the winter. That'll be a four pounder in the winter. Well, guys, I'm going to call it a day now. It's just gone half seven. Caught plenty of chub. Just unfortunately that one barbel. And we've been tried and tried, haven't yeah. we, to get you a barbel. We've really tried today. They just don't seem interested. It's a, been a funny old day, isn't it? Yeah, probably empty to swim with chub, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> we've caught plenty of chub, haven't we? I reckon yeah. probably a dozen between us, something like that. Yeah. You've had about four, four in the last sort of hour or so, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. But uh, yeah, the barbel just don't seem to want to play ball. Don't know why. The river, as, as mentioned earlier, the river's come up like a foot since we've been here. Um, I thought that would have been a good thing, but it seems to have cleared as well, which is very, very strange. Um, it's not coloured up like like we thought, and it's not it's not put the fishing on, yeah. uh, you know, made the fishing barrel like we like it would have as well, like we'd expected. But you've, you've caught some chub, yeah, you know, you go home with that. a smile on your face. Yeah, That's the main thing, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> day, so. Brilliant. Nice to see a barbel come out, but you see, we have plenty, plenty of fish. So. Yeah, but we know there. We saw them this morning, didn't yeah, we? Saw yeah. them rolling out, porpoising out, and. But yeah, they're just not interesting for whatever reason. But that's fishing, isn't it? Can't always catch. But uh, we've had plenty of chub, so that's the main thing. Anyway, I'm waffling. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. And I'll see you all again very soon.